This is the Yamaha DX7 input output board and we're looking at a capacitor through a loop and uh, what happened is that there was a there was a E gray matter board on the uh, DX7 it was a prototype version that had a screw that came loose so the screw was loose the nut was loose and the washer was loose and one of those components the nut or the wash, the nut or the screw, uh, caused a short in the system, and it and the short occurred at the uh, MIDI in section, and as you can see, it's uh, burnt a hole right through and it's left a charred mark there, and this has caused problems for the previous owners. So we are going to fix this just by replacing it with a regular uh, where did it go? with a regular um, 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor and uh, that's what we're going to do just replace that this is the uh, board itself you can see how it's charred let's try to get that in focus here And this is the, uh, there's another board here. So I could, you know, just swap this one out for this, but, you know, I could put this in back in DX7 where it belongs. And this one will go in the original one. And I'm just going to use a uh, different type. It's not going to be a ceramic version, but it will work just fine. This, uh, this is a polyester film, and, and that's a ceramic. I'll just swap that out and that'll be into that. We have our soldering station ready to go. We're going to clean this charred section here as best as we can. And uh, that's probably about the best you can get. Got a little pad lifting there. No big deal.
that is it. It's fixed. I still need to clean that up. And this part, go in the trash.